Welcome back to Sunrise Daily, coming to you live from our Abuja studio. I'm speaking this morning with two gentlemen, Mr. Shegun Sawumi, who is the spokesman of the Al Haji Atiku Abubakar for President campaign, and Mr. Alwan Hassan, who is a member of the Governing All Progressives Congress. Mr. Hassan, before we went on break, uh, Mr. Sawumi looked at a lot of issues, really kind of tackled uh, President Buhari over what he believes are. Uh, issues of impropriety in the administration of the president. Uh, first of all, what are your views of that? You see, one thing he said, the, 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 um, makes me want to comment is, he said the president, no one doubts his sincerity. And he acknowledged that. It's the people around him. You can't get everybody perfect in this country. That is one. Secondly, he talks about cutting grass. I would like this. I would like him to go and look around in that place, Babachir, former SGF, claimed to have cut those grass. Let him go and see the terrain. And that would justify that that grass ought to be have cut as a den. And didn't we sack him? The government sacked him. Though it took some time, but investigation shows that he was culpable and he was sacked. It, 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 one of the one of the challenges is, you know, when you look at the election, the contrast, you know that one of the major kind of uh, uh, achievements of the administration of former President Olusha Gunabasenjo, of which uh, the former vice president was obviously vice president, was the privatization process and what that resulted in in terms of the telecom sector, for example. When you look at uh, what uh, uh, the, the former vice president is saying about his experience, about what he would bring to the table now, what are your thoughts when you look at some of the successes of, you know, say, privatization at that time? Success of privatization? What do you call, do you call that success? You privatize, privatize a government institution and refuse to pay the workers, the civil servants. It is this government that is paying for those things. That is the mess they have put us in. Recently, the president has approved 22 billion naira to pay uh, 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 Nigerian Airways. They killed Nigerian Airways. And a lot of them like that. Asu has been crying for money from, from, from day one. No one has given them the money that this government has now approved for them. Half of what they requested, about 25 billion naira, going to be released to them. A jury, I don't, I don't understand what people say when you talk about the privatization. And privatization during that time was headed by Atiku Abubakar. Atiku Abubakar did all those things to himself, to himself and others. You're saying he used privatization to benefit yes, himself? Yes, absolutely. Google, Google is our friend. You privatize a government uh, uh, institution and, and, and ask your friends to come and, and pay uh, uh, instrumentally? Are you, are Is it you, not the problem we have now in power? Are, are, you, are you suggesting in any way, are, are you suggesting that if uh, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar emerges as the nation's next president, that he's going to go on some privatization? He's going what are to you trying enrich to say himself. Here? He's a politician. He's going to enrich himself and his cronies. Just the way they, way they did with the infrastructure we are fixing now. They said we have not, we have not started and, 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 and finished any, any uh, infrastructure uh, uh, contract. Yes, we did not start, but we finished theirs. This government, in this Abuja, if you are in this Abuja, you know that this government has open roads in the central area that started during IBB. President Mohamed Buhari has opened them. This government has paid 2.7 trillion naira so far on contracts like that. Capital uh, 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 budget. 2.7 trillion naira, unprecedented. It has never happened in this country. Yes, we believe in continuity. This was why we voted for the president. If they have, if the other, if the last government in the six, last 16 years or last 30 years has started something very good and it has not finished, we support this president to finish it up. This was why we voted for him. This is why we believe in him. This is why we know he is trustworthy that he can deliver. When you make these allegations, though, uh, against the former vice president concerning privatization, what are you really basing it on? I mean, what, what, have you, what do you know, uh, potentially, that, that we may not know about that in view of those alleg allegations? Let's take an example of NITEL. NITEL, for example. Who bought NITEL? Who? 
I ask you, Ajuri, who bought NITA? He now, he brought somebody that headed BPE, somebody close to him that headed BPE. And they knew what they did as a den. You see, just as he said, I, I, we shouldn't talk about, uh, we should talk about issues. We shouldn't go mm. directly on, on persons. I also want us to, to, but still, we would never stop talking about character. Mm. You understand? Uh, uh, but I don't want to go personal into that. On, 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 on that note, uh, we have some questions from our correspondents in Lagos. Uh, they really want to come in. You want to have a quick response? I wanted to say to him. Yes, please go ahead. I say to Nigerians that talk is cheap. Had the Federal Republic of Nigeria in 1999 not embarked on the massive privatization exercise of this country, you, the country would have literally collapsed. Whatever you're getting in the banks is banking reform. Whatever you're getting with pensions is privatization. Whatever you're getting with all of the small and medium-scale leading companies that are doing things and holding the economy is privatization. Whatever you're doing with telecom and the multiply effect of telecom is privatized. Okay, so you, you privatize and sell and give out about five or six licenses. One of them is difficult to, is not exactly successful. Five of them are successful. And you come with a verdict of what? That people stole it themselves. Remember, this privatization exercise, people are very funny. Atiku was not the one that was privatizing by himself. They are, they are, they are, they are mm -hmm. altar boy now. They are poster man. Nasser El Rufai, the governor of Kaduna State, was in charge of BPE. And by Nasser's own admission, and you know, His Excellency Nasser El Rufai is not one that speaks double speak. He has it written in his book that all through the privatization process, His Excellency Atiku Abubakar gave him the freest of hand to run. That in actual fact, not on any occasion, did he interfere with the process. Look, the things that Atiku does in the economy is not to become the champion and be jumping up and down, becoming the jack of all trade and making everybody think that they have to co him. No, he brings processes in place that endure. No, yes, but, if, if all you're, his. If you're, ICBC, all his. Yes, if you're, all if you're his. referring Banking to... Reform, all his. Um, what's it called? Um, um, procurement <laughs> office and the, proc and the mm. and remember, procurement laws just to make sure that Nigeria is not buying everything at the most expensive rate than anywhere in India. All his. All of the ideas that are working, that is holding the economy. All they from were, Atiku Abubakar. They <laughs> were ideas that were incubated on this table. You got their forgiveness. Do you know how, how that happened? I'll tell you when you come back. <laughs> Ajuri, Ajuri, all these it? things he has said about uh, privatization, I am talking about the masses. You see, they talk, masses. They talk, uh, they talk about elites. Privatization, <laughs> it has done this. The man done who done. I am talking what, about the masses. We have to have the people they have not paid. Mm -hmm. Their pensions, mm -hmm. which we are still paying. All, all right, at this juncture, I, I have to bring in my colleagues in Lagos because they have questions. We will try and get into these issues when we come back.